Hey guys, and welcome back to Scarlet Sprites. Doing a little bit of sporadic traveling, and I didn't want the channel to just sit dormant while I'm in. Rat piss? Rat piss? Let me tell you about rat piss. Oh, all that and more up next. All right, so the majority of the work that you're gonna see here has been done on this bench piece, which houses the boards. I mean, you'll notice in the background there, there's a lot of stuff on the floor, a lot of parts and things that are currently off. I also have the marquee off of the top of the, the main unit here, and um, we can take a look at that as well. You'll notice the board inside here, I painted this fire red, orange color, what have you. Just waiting for something to dry at one point. It's kind of unnecessary, but um, just a little extra nod to the colors of the original here. I'll go ahead and lift this up. This is probably where the most dramatic difference is. You remember this on the first video was covered in mold and um, who knows what else, honestly. Sanded this whole thing down, bleached it, and then treated it with mold control. That is all cleaned up. Down here, the box itself, all, all of this had to come out. I ripped everything out. This whole thing was sanded out and bleached. I actually did use some vinegar because there was some, um, well, some rats living in here, we'll just say that. And uh, then treated this whole box with, with mold control. So this is basically, you know, as good as it's gonna get. The white paint on the base is all brand new. I did that. The orange stripes are original stickers from Sega. Covered those up before I painted it, but I did go ahead and do all of this. So it's been gone over in white and uh, it looks pretty good because it was pretty beat up before. When I was painting, I also made sure I preserved the original Sega serial number stickers as well. But this all came out pretty good overall. And while we're talking about rat piss, Few comments ever get me riled up on YouTube. I mean, I do YouTube and I fully expect backlash and negativity. So you gotta have a little bit of thick skin to begin with. But um, a comment on one of my other videos about me not understanding how 90% of people can't afford cabinets like this that aren't full of rat piss. Rat piss? Let me tell you about rat piss. I chiseled four dead rats out of this cabinet. One of them was decomposing into the side of the wall and I had to sand it down and bleach that. I don't really get upset over comments typically, but to assume that I just spend thousands of dollars on these cabinets and they're pristine when I get them, that pisses me off because I put the work into these. On the back, and I know you guys can't really see this, nor can I power this up at this point, but, um, I replaced this marquee on the back. The inside is now an LED bulb. Again, just for power consumption's sake, as well as heat, kind of want to preserve this this nice coloring that the uh, marquee has going on and gives me a little bit of more longevity. You'll notice the spots where your feet would go if you're sitting on the bench are still uncovered, and that's because I was just working on some of the wiring. I do have an update on that as well. Like everything else, I pulled these and uh, the rubber on top here I uh, used some simple green on as well as a little bit of bleach to kind of just clean it up and then cleaned up these metal brackets that go around. It, they just sit on a piece of wood and so I had to reattach those and uh, they just screw back on so that's not really a big deal. You'll notice that on top of the main unit the large marquee area with the card numbers is gone. The marquee box uh, of course like I keep saying everything has been cleaned Took care of that this past weekend and this is one of the led bulbs that i dropped in inside here and uh, again less power less heat this is not a bottle of my urine i have not gone howard hughes on you guys no that bottle contains evapo rust which i've been using on all of these parts pretty much everything metallic it has done a phenomenal job I'll see if I do have any before and after pictures. Uh, I did throw something up on Twitter not too long ago. All of these pieces were just, uh, including the screws, were just caked in rust. And that stuff, uh, a little soaking, and it, it eats that right off. So um, this piece holds the main marquee that we were just looking at back onto uh, the main base unit. But uh, it looks a lot better than it did when it came off. These pieces contain the car numbers. Here they are on the right-hand side. Uh, these are the light boxes for those. 
And actually, yeah, there is the wooden frame for it. Uh, this was taken off, also bleached. I didn't do any sanding here, but I did treat this for mold just to make sure that it's all cleaned up and, and ready to go. Um, let me see here. Yeah, these are the original light bulbs that were in here. Again, replacing these with LED bulbs. Moving around to the back side of the main case, you'll see that the monitor chassis is out for car number one, as well as car number two here on my left. Obviously the neck board is off as well, flyback is gone. And I had to discharge these monitors. I know I said I didn't want to mess with these, but I figure, hey, pulling this whole thing apart, I might as well do this the right way. So I have both boards pulled. I'm gonna send those off to get recapped as well as new flybacks, any additional solder reflow. I just don't feel comfortable myself doing that. I, if, I, if I screw that up, uh, I'm gonna be pretty pissed at myself and uh, I'd rather somebody that knows what they're doing uh, just take a look at these. And of course, as is the case with any project, you've got tons of parts all over the place. Most of this stuff is for the main base. You'll notice uh, I was talking a little bit earlier about attaching the uh, foot pieces back on and then this whole frame has to connect to the front of the main unit. So that's what a lot of these brackets are for. You'll notice on the ground here, I got some of the T-molding pulled. Uh, some of this is going up underneath uh, the, the main base unit and I, I've got to get to that. I did pull the T-molding off here. This stuff was all black uh, across the top, um, black in color, not um, because it was dirty, although that might not surprise you either. And then across the, the front here, I, uh, I'm gonna make an executive decision and uh, I think Virtua Racing deserves the chrome treatment. So a big part of what's left is obviously taking the steering wheel and those front panels off, cleaning them as well as the glass. You'll notice some of those screws on uh, the front are also rusted. Those will get treated with the Vapo rust. Obviously clean the glass, clean this whole thing down. Um, the wheels need greased, as do the foot pedals down here. So all that has to come off. There is some rust that also needs to be treated on the uh, gas and brake pedals as well. So I covered everything pretty quickly. It makes me feel like I didn't do that much, but trust me, uh, I have spent days on this already. And a lot of that is just cleaning. There's been a lot of just unsanitary stuff that I've had to go through, um, the rats basically. That took a little bit longer than I thought. I think the main base unit will probably be the same, needs treated for mold, um, a little bit of sanding here and there, but I think it'll be perfectly fine. Having the monitors done by somebody else I think will save me a little bit of time as well. I would say I'm probably about 60, maybe 65% of the way through this. And uh, overall, I'm feeling pretty optimistic. If you have any questions, by all means, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time. Later, guys.